Hey guys, today we're going to go over creating rules in Microsoft Outlook. The rules we're going to be creating are for automatically sorting email. You might get a lot of emails, some are from you know one source, some are from another, and a bunch of spam, right? So um, we're going to create a rule uh, in Microsoft Outlook that says, um, you know, whenever we get an email from a specific person, we'll, we'll use Microsoft Outlook for, for a uh, test here. So let's look at this. Microsoft Outlook to narration bot. Okay, Microsoft Outlook test message. So we're going to create, first things first, we're going to create a folder. So we're right clicking on our mailbox and we're saying new folder and we're going to name it Microsoft. So we've got our Microsoft folder here. This is where we want uh, our Microsoft mail to go. So let's say you get a lot of emails from Microsoft and you just want to filter them off or maybe it's your backup software or maybe it's you know your real estate listings or whatever. Um, you need to send them into a folder that way you're like, okay, I'm gonna handle these things first and those things first. I use these kind of rules for, I have one set up for client communication. So, you know, if a client messages me, I wanna make sure that I have that separate from all the spam and everything else that ends up in my uh, inbox. Um, I have another one for, you know, my Amazon stuff, my Audible stuff, my uh, Kindle stuff, you know, all that's kind of separate um, for different things for when I write. So it can be a big help. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go up to file. You're going to go message rules and alerts and make sure you have your right email selected. I have multiple, so you got to make sure you have it selected. If you have just one, it'll automatically be there on the right one. Um, click new rule. And there's two ways to do this. You could specify either uh, the sender or part of the sender's address, or you could specify something in the subject line. Um, now, because Microsoft, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through both. Um, so we want to say apply a rule to messages on messages I receive next. And then we could say specific words in the subject. We'll do that first. Click on specific words down here. Now we want to put Microsoft add. All right, so you can see here, apply this rule after receiving, after the message arrives with Microsoft in the subject. Okay, so it could say Microsoft anything. It could, doesn't matter. Um, and then what action do you want to do? So what do you want to do with the message? Move it to a specified folder. Click on specified at the bottom. Now we got to find our Microsoft folder we created, which is why we created it first. We hit next. And then you can exempt things. Exempts become really important. Um, you know, we're not going to set up an exempt on this one. Maybe we'll do it on the next one. We're going to hit finish. And then we'll do a new rule. Uh, we'll do a second one, but this one with a sender. So apply a rule on messages I receive. And we'll say, uh, what conditions do you want to check from people or public group with specific words and subject through the specified account, sent only to me, marked as important, sensitive action, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see, with specific words in the recipient's address, specific words in the sender's address, here we go. So I like to use this one because um, a lot of times I'll do whole domains because if it's a client, you know, it might be at, you know, bobscalendar.com or whatever. Um, so, so I like to use this because I can just put in the, uh, oops, I can just put in the whole domain. So I'll do that here. Apply this rule after message arrives with specific words and I'll just go at artcmr.com. So that's uh, one of my domains. I'll click OK, OK, next. And then how about we just move it to, um, I didn't create a box for this. So we'll send it to, yeah, you know, we'll send it to bulk mail just for fun. And click next, next. Um, yep, no exemptions. Specify a name for this rule at artcmr, that's fine. Turn on this rule, that's fine. So it's on. Now, if we go back right now, it hasn't run the rules on this mailbox at all. 
Now this technically came from Art Seamer uh, mailbox. So technically, if I run either one of these rules, because it actually has Microsoft in the subject and it has that, it's going to, uh, whichever one it executes first, it's going to put it there. So I want to put this in the Microsoft folder in this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the rules and I'm going to go run rules now, Microsoft, run now, close, okay, go back, it's no longer here, it's in the Microsoft folder. Now if I were to uh, move this back to the inbox, all right, so we have it again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, run the other rule. So we're going to run the rule for Art CMR, which should send it to the bulk messages. And there it is. And there's the test that I sent as well. Perfect. Yeah, because it's that Art CMR. So any messages that come in automatically now are going to go straight to um, if it's if it's at Art CMR, it's going to go straight to the bulk. So just to show you, new email to liberation.artcmr.com test test go to narration bot do a quick send receive see this just got one up to three here there it is test so rules are working well to remove it it's pretty much the same thing file message rules and alerts now you can just hit delete now you select it first so click on it delete yes Delete, yes, apply, okay, and back to no rules here, but we're going to just delete these messages. So that's how you um, work with the rules and alerts on um, Microsoft Outlook, specifically the rules. Now if this uh, is helpful to you, go ahead and like the video and uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope this is uh, uh, easy to follow and if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks is it too good to be true i want this so much but don't know if i can trust you my mind's racing fast trying to find the red flags i'm used to